Welcome back to IGN Live. This next show is like basically Superman's Ancestry.com account come to life. So let's meet the cast of Sci-Fi's Krypton. How you guys doing? Good. Well, thank you. Yeah, great to be here. Good. I am so excited about this show because I was just telling you before that, you know, I get to do stuff with DC All Access and literally all week I've been like, what do we know about Krypton? What do we know about Krypton? We haven't heard that much yet, aside from the fact that it's 300 years before Superman, right? Two. 200 years. 200. Yeah. Yes. So okay. A little bit closer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So can you give everybody who's watching just a rundown of what is the premise for this show? Yeah. 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 Sure. Well, totally. as you say, it's set, it's set 200 years before Superman's birth. And when we pick the story up, we uh, become aware that there is a, uh, a conspiracy that, that threatens to, from, from present day, from the future, from 2017, where uh, we have a, a threat. Uh, it has come together to threaten um, Superman's birth. So the stakes, the stakes are really about here and now. So it's not so much a show about Krypton's past, but it's a show about the present day. And also it's a show that's, you know, we can't obviously tell you much because <laughs> DC has snipers trained on all of us right Well, now. I could tell us he's answering. He's like, it's a show about <laughs> yeah. stuff that, I have you know, to charge the camera. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see red dots. Um, but it, it is a show that's meant to challenge, you know, everything that uh, DC fans think they know about Krypton. There's been a lot of amazing stories told about Krypton, you know, bottled shows, alternate history shows, alternate universe shows. This show is meant to tie together the DC universe in a really significant way, and not just about Superman, and not just about Krypton, but also to kind of show through a different lens that entertains and surprises a core audience and really illuminates different characters, none of whom we can actually name today, that, uh, from the DC universe. Yeah. It's a very exciting project, obviously deeply secretive. I think people can be... <laughs> Rest assured, minds will be blown. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, working on a show like this that is so secretive, how difficult is that for you guys to kind of come to an event like this where all you want to do is share? You're like, people are excited, we want to tell them everything. Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> that simple. It's welcome welcome yeah. to the struggle. Like, yeah. I mean... There are things lined up and there are characters that I think will really surprise and blow people's minds that, that you know, people will wonder how they fit into this world, but, it, but there's some very clever plans for how, they, how that works out. So since you can't give too much, can you at least give a little background on each of your characters? So, um, yeah, so I play Segel, who is Superman's eventual grandfather. And um, in Krypton, we have this really brilliant uh, class system and, and this incredible sort of utopian society that mm -hmm. is struggling against its own entropy. Um, so we have a, a house system, and there's the once mighty House of El, which through no fault of Seg um, has been cast from the light of Kryptonian society down into the rankless district and essentially just left to die. And so we meet Seg struggling to survive. Um, and this sense of honor and, and legacy is out there but it feels very very far away because he's just trying to put one foot in front of the other yeah and then this plot comes his way mm -hmm. yeah i mean i i'm, I'm damien kindler i play one of the showrunners <laughs> <laughs> again it well. again it's the same story of just dishonor and living in filth and you know but it's real yeah um, <laughs> um it's it, real yeah. well the, the great thing about uh what cam is talking about is that when we first meet seg he's not even really an l anymore um, yeah. The class system is so brutal, and it has a lot to do less with just it being a brutalist society than a society that is trying to, just, to survive as a civilization in a very harsh climate and harsh planet. Yeah. Um, and so the rules and the, the, the guiding principles of that society, a lot of which DC fans will recognize, are key. But I can tell you that um, the whole House of L is uh, brought low in a way you haven't seen before. Yeah. And that's not how it ends. It's, and, that's how it starts. And, and also, just in terms of how he's different from Superman, to, to step away from the plan that yeah. the society has laid for you is an act of rebellion. You know, yeah. And that hardens Seg in a way that, that Kal-El was never set hardened. Well, and kind of speaking to that, when you see you know, Man of Steel and it gives this idea about each person having a class or having a role... How does this TV show fit into the DC world that's already there? Because I know that Jeff has talked about, and Terry just talked to him the other night, kind of saying that he doesn't want to rely too much on making sure everything fits. He wants to make it yeah. be incredible, standalone on its yeah. own. How does this show fit in? Yeah, well, I think that's what's very cool about this, is that there's, there is canon that exists, yeah. but there's not, a, there's not a whole lot. So we, we do have a bit of a free reign. In terms of tying it into the films, 
definitely take some inspiration from those worlds. And obviously, you know, David Boyer is, is uh, an executive producer yep. on the show and, uh, and Jeff. And, and so we can draw from that, but we don't, we're, not, uh, we're not beholden to, to things that are in uh, Man of Steel. We, we can kind yeah. of, because of the, the setting and the time frame, we can kind of, you know, carve out our own little yeah. um, section of the, of the I, DCEU. I think that the aspirations for what the show wants to do are very high. That yeah, We want it to be absolutely. successful in and of itself. But ideally, we really would love it to be ground zero for, you know, a new window into a DC universe we haven't seen either in the movies or TV yet. And that, you know, talks brilliantly to the whole extended universe, yeah. but lives and breathes on its own and plays to, you know, maybe an older, deeper, more, you know, uh, savvy audience that have grown up with DC but they really want to get into something more complex and, and, and adult and interesting and less black and white, good versus evil. And, and we love that, having grown up with it. Um, and I think that's, that's what makes the show so exciting. Well, I feel like there's so many shows right now that are so focused on the politics or how things work, classes, that sort of thing, yeah. where people are interested in that particular aspect of yeah. it. What is the thing that for each of you guys made you really say, aside from it being a Superman superhero story, that made you each say, yes, this is a project I'm really excited about and I want to be a part of it? Well, well for me, I mean, this is an incredibly ambitious show. And, and the role of great sci-fi, you know, 1984, Blade Runner, it's not about robots, it's about us yep. and how we relate to each other. Stephen King, it's always about the people. And for me, it's a great way to explore humanity. And it's a deeply grounded story that's very grounded in very real stakes for these characters. And uh, that fascinates me as an actor, and of course... Also, you get to say that you're Superman's granddad. Which is pretty cool, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think, sure. I think you know, for, for me, um, it's rare to find projects that are, that are smart and grounded, genre-based um, shows. And... Um, the moment they cross your desk, they light up. Having someone like David Goyer involved is a huge, like, immediate draw because he's brilliant. Jeff Johns is just a visionary. Mm -hmm. So you, you sort of are invited to play in a very heady sandbox. And, and it, you know, I, I sold three of my children just to, you know, intern with this. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm, but, it, yeah, it's a rare opportunity to world build on a, on a really incredible scale. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it was one of those situations for me where it's like, you know, you had me at... Krypton, yeah. <laughs> kind of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, and I've worked with with David and, and Jeff on a couple of other projects in the past, so um, I, you know that that was kind of all I needed really was to know. And on top of all of that, it just so happens that Superman is my favourite, you know, um, character, like comic book or probably otherwise. Like yeah. it's just I, likewise, yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah. So that that was a big thing for me. Yeah. With all of these shows too, you know, anything that has comic book bases or costumes or worlds that you have to build. There's always a moment, I feel like, whether it was on set and you put something on or seeing something come to life before your eyes. Was, what was the moment for each of you guys where you're like, oh my God, we're doing this? I would say that when... I can't say. I, <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice trick. You yeah. me. I, I this is the thing. You. I innocently was not trying to trick you, but I was, I was like, so, he's there, about there, to say there was a moment on, there, was a, there was a moment on the side of the pilot where um, there's a rescue and there was a massive... Thing. Um, and I remember the director and I, and, and it, probably you and I looking at each other going, blah, 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 like having that kind of like Bill and Ted's moment of like, I can't believe it. <laughs> and th those continued, and Cam and I have had them when we're literally breaking stories, and we, yeah. the name will come across, and we're like, you believe we're actually like this is yeah I think we're yeah. talking about yeah. th these characters yeah and they've entrusted we'll see with we'll see <laughs> production design like we have a brilliant production designer uh, working with us right now and he'll send amazing concept drawings that we'll look at together there we and I know we're supposed to put a critical eye on like we know more blue less ice and blah yeah. blah we're gonna see this but in, then immediately just like print it out and put it on your office wall <laughs> how cool like is a this? total nerd you know yeah. it's so funny like every, every day it's like that it's yeah. Yeah. It, every day it's like how cool is this yeah. Yeah. For me, the moment was when I was, we had a lovely production week in Belgrade where we shot the pilot. And um, before I was ever an actor, I was just a kid who loved movies and comic books. Yeah. And I remember sitting down with David, who's a hero of mine, obviously being involved with The Dark Knight, mm -hmm. one of my favorite movies. And I just remember sitting down with him being like, I, I just love this character. This is, this is everything to me. And he mm. told me as well, all I wanted to do growing up was make a Batman film. And here we are, you know. Doing that, but that's but that's that's oh, part good. of what you're looking for in the role. Yeah. Is you know, B Superman really does. He is the the most um, famous superhero in the world because. 
he represents aspiration and hope and wonder and awe. Mm -hmm. And when you have an actor audition who is just, you know, emitting that on yeah. a, a minute by minute basis, on, oh, oh my God, a cookie! Like everything with Cam was just. And I said, I, I want to work with this guy. He yeah. kind of feels the same yeah. as everyone who's been loving it. So that that joy is is a big part of it. Well, I think there is definitely a crazy amount of excitement about this show. I specifically wore my kind of kryptonite ring just to be yeah. a part of the bunch today. Yeah, I know. It, I don't know if it works that way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Does right. it? Can't on tell the you. Show? Can't see. Very clever, but no. I, think I was trying. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. I can't wait to see the show.